This is the gameplay video for Conquering Ceros. In the top right, you're able to see the stats of a selected rune. So if I select this, it will show that it's a support rune with a shield. This one is a melee with a sword, and then this is also a melee with a sword. So I'm going to place the shield in the left, and then these two melee runes in the top right. And soon we will have another informational box that show the connected runes and their families and the synergies that come from it. So if I were to select this melee rune, it would show the connected family. So it would show the family of this melee rune and the family of this support rune. And then underneath that, it would show the synergy that occurs because of that. So you'd be able to move your runes around in accordance to those synergies so that you can build the strongest cluster. I'm going to finalize the cluster and move into the game. This second to second gameplay here is moving around, avoiding these enemies, killing these enemies, and then also rotating your cluster so that it is in the best position possible. More of a long term goal would be picking up these other runes and putting them into your cluster. I'm going to clear my cluster and build it around this new support rune that I got. So I'm going to put this support in the bottom, the shield in the bottom left, and then these two swords in the right, kind of to make a shield between the swords and the enemies. So the midterm goal here is picking up experience. And once you pick up enough experience, you're put into the upgrade menu where you're able to upgrade a rune cluster slot. So say I wanted to upgrade this slot here because the sword's pretty powerful. I could upgrade the cooldown of the sword so that it fires more often. I could upgrade the damage so that it's more powerful. Or I could upgrade the range so that it hits more enemies. So I'm going to upgrade the damage and then move back into the game. So that's the main gameplay loop of Conquering Ceros. Um, I hope you enjoyed and found it interesting. Thank you for listening.